So, Games Workshop have announced some battle forces for Christmas, including the Necrons Eradication Legion. Time to have a closer look, and it's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. And if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about Necrons and more, then please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload. Right, time for a closer look at the new Necrons Eradication Legion box set. I'm going to look at this box set from three points of view. One, from someone just starting with Necrons and they have no miniatures whatsoever. Two, from someone who has an Indomitus box set and is looking to expand it. And three, from a long-term Necron player who has a good amount of miniatures. Is this box worth buying for either of those three? Well, let's find out. So, this is what you get in the box. You've got a Technomancer. You then have ten Warriors. And, of course, Warriors come with three Scarab Swarms, so you get those as well. We've then got five Immortals, which of course can also be built into Death Marks. We then have five Lich Guard, which can also be built as Praetorians. We've got a Canoptic Spider, a Triarch Stalker, and finally a Doom Scythe, which can also be built as a Knight Scythe. So let's run through these units first and see what we think of them. Okay, so first up are the Warriors, and if you buy this box by itself from the website, it's valued at £29. However, it's far better to buy these in the Recruit box for just £32.50, where you also get all of the Space Marines and also a character, so much better value for money. However, in terms of a unit in this box set, well, it's a great unit to have. Warriors, for all different reasons, are really good in 9th edition, including the RP bonuses, which I've talked about in my previous videos. And, of course, the fact that they can take two different gun options, giving us quite good tactical choices. And, as I said, they come with three Scarab Swarms as well, which is a bit of a bonus in the box set. Now, even if you have some Warriors already, it's still good to have more warriors. I've got over a hundred warriors now and I'll be happy to have even more because, well, they are the backbone of our army. Let's face it, they are our T-800 Terminators and we all love Terminator. Now, continuing on with the troops choices and we get five Necron Immortals in this box set. Again, an awesome troops choice. That Toughness 5, and although with just one wound, the one wound being very good for RP, it's a great unit. And of course, again, we've got two different gun options for different tactics. And this kit, well, you can also build these as death marks if you wish as well, which again is another great unit. So I have no problems with these guys being in the set. Now, a single unit of five can be quite useful and a good complement to a unit of warriors. However, I think for both the warriors and the immortals, you would be looking at bigger units. I mean, five immortals on an objective isn't bad, but I think on the whole, you would be looking at having more numbers in both of those units, really. However, as a starting force, or potentially adding to an existing army, it's a great choice to have the Immortals in this set. Now, a box of five Immortals would cost you £25 if you bought them individually, so I'm going to add all of these prices up so we get a final cost of this box set if you did buy them individually. So next up, we've got the Necron Lich Guard, which come in at £30 for five, and these guys can be built either as Lich Guard or as Praetorians. Now, I've magnetised my guys, actually I've magnetised them with all four weapon options, and if you're into magnetising, that could be a very good option. I'll link you up to that video in the description below. However, it's a nice addition to this box set, and again, to be able to build either one of these units, a little bit like the Immortals and indeed the Warriors with the different guns, means that this box set really does give us quite a lot of choices, which is nice to see. We then come on to another Elite slot, and that's the Canoptic Spider. 
which some are saying, well, that could be a bit of an odd one in this box set, but I don't think so. Actually, the Canoptic Spider is really good in ninth edition. I'm having good success with it, either in a unit or as a single miniature. It's got some good stats now, and if you're not using these spiders, for the points that they cost, I'd highly recommend you have a look at maybe fitting one or two of these in your list. Now the spider comes in at £25 for a single miniature, which of course is what you get in the box, just one of these guys, so we'll add that to our cost. Sticking with the Elite slot, we've got a Triarch Stalker. Now the Stalker comes with three different weapon options. Again, I've magnetised mine. There will be a link to the magnetising tutorial in the description below, but I'm loving the Triarch Stalker still in 9th edition. It has changed slightly with the gun options, but it's still very usable, and the targeting relay for it is also very useful. So it's a thumbs up for the Triarch Stalker in this set. So the Stalker comes in at £32.50, I've added that to the list and we're getting quite a high value for this box set. So next up we've got another quite expensive unit, the Doom Scythe, which again is a dual kit into the Night Scythe and actually you don't even have to magnetise this one, the gun and the portal just push into place, no trouble at all without magnets. But £37.50 added to the list and is this a good option for the box set? Well, it certainly isn't a bad option. Now, whether you're using this as a night scythe to transport some troops or a doom scythe for the anti-tank shooting ability, I do think this is a good addition to the box set. I don't think it's an essential item, but I do think it complements the rest of the units which are in this set. Now, coming to the last unit, we've got a HQ the Necron Cryptek, also now known as the Technomancer. A great choice, the Technomancer is one of the go-to HQ choices. I think it would have been nice maybe to have two HQs in this set, maybe an Overlord as well, but as I'm going to discuss in a minute when we look at the three options of who might buy this set, you'll see why maybe they haven't put an Overlord in this set. Now, all of that comes in, with this guy being £20, £199. Now, as of yet, recording this video, we don't know how much this box set is going to be, but we believe it's going to be around £115 or so. So if it is that price, it's going to be a fantastic value for money box set. And overall, for all of the units which are in there, I have to say, it's a fantastic choice. Now, of course, we don't have any of the new units in there. Okay, we've got the new Necron Warriors, but that's just the actual model. The unit itself isn't new. I actually think this is a good move by Games Workshop because, well, let's face it, most people have probably bought all of the new miniatures already. So this is a good way for people to bolster their army if they don't have any of these old miniatures. So let's have a look how this box set is going to affect the three potential buyers. Okay, so let's imagine that you are not a Necron player yet. You're going to be, you've watched all of my videos and you're convinced Necrons are for you and you want to dive in. Is this the set to dive in? Well, I think it is actually. In actual fact, I think two of these sets would be a fantastic way to start. Necrons. It would give you a good core amount of troops. You'd have 10 immortals and 20 warriors, allowing you to fill a battalion with your two cryptex. Potentially, you may want to add an overlord to that as well, but two technomancers, you can't really go wrong with that. And of course, that would give you 10 Praetorians stroke Lich Guard. You've got a couple of Triarch Stalkers in there. Potentially, you don't need two, but Two's good. I mean, the Triarch Stalker's a cool-looking miniature, and at some point, whether you're going to use it straight away, but at some point, you may end up having two Triarch Stalkers, because rules change all the time. As I said, I'm a big fan of the Spider in 9th edition, so two of those, no trouble at all. And, of course, the Doom Scythe, stroke Knight Scythe, but I think you'll be using it as a Doom Scythe more so. A couple of those, well... You can't really go wrong. Now, you probably would want to add to this if you were a starter with Necrons. It wouldn't necessarily give you a final list. You might want 
some better heavy support in there, either the uh, Doomstalkers or the Doomsday Arcs, but I think it's a solid starting point. Uh, two of these for starting with Necrons, yeah, it's a good choice. Now, let's say you've got the Indomitus box set of Necrons. I mean, is this a good way to bolster that box set? Well, again, I think it's a very good way. As I said, it's a core amount of solid units. You do have a good amount of uh, Necron Warriors in the Indomitus box set. And as I said, you can never have enough Warriors. So I think this is a great addition to expanding the Indomitus box set. It gives you some more options and whilst We've got a lot of HQs in the Indomitus set. We don't have this particular HQ, so again, it's a nice addition. You don't have the Spider, the Praetorians, uh, the Immortals. Basically, you don't have hardly anything there apart from the Warriors. So I do believe that this is a great add-on to the Indomitus set. However, once again, you probably will want some more heavy support. So Doomstalkers or Doomsday Arcs probably would be the main choices. But yeah, I would not uh, dissuade you from buying this as an add-on to the Indomitus set. Now from my point of view, which is the last point of view we're going to look at, from somebody who already has a good amount of Necron miniatures. Now I'm tempted with this set purely down to the fact that it's incredibly good value for money, or at least it will be if it's priced where we think it's going to be priced. However, I don't really need any of these units. I've got a good amount of spiders, a Triarch Stalker, Doom Scythes. I mean, literally, I have everything multiple times. So, I personally am not going to buy this. If you've not been collecting for too long and you just want to bolster your forces, bolster what you have, then again, it could be a good way to go. Well, it is a good way to go because it's going to be fantastic value for money. So, for me, overall, this set is fantastic. It's a massive thumbs up from me. I think it's a great choice of miniatures. I'm liking how they've not put the new miniatures in this set and they've gone for the old ones. I think that is a positive choice. So yeah, well done, Games Workshop. Now, of course, as well as the Necron set, there's been other sets released at the same time. I'm not going to cover those on this channel. However, I'm going to link you up to a video where Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming will cover the other box sets in more detail. Go and check it out and give him a sub whilst you're there. Beam me up.